Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media, and today we've got another installment of This Week in EDM where we go over songs that came out this week in EDM. As always, there is a Spotify link playlist below for all of these songs. Make sure you sort by recently added so you can see the newer songs of the week organized by the list that I like. And uh, yeah, let's hop into it. We've got 22 songs this week. Nothing at the bottom, nothing at the top. No trash, no standout. A pretty midweek, I would say, as well as um, a lot of really short and minimalistic songs. You'll hear me say that quite a bit. But uh, let's hop into the bad category. We've got the song that I reacted to, uh, I'm Good or Blue by David Guetta and BB Rexa. This is a cover of Eiffel 65's iconic Blue uh, Dabba D song. Uh, this doesn't, didn't really need to happen. Uh, the drop is just so non-existent despite it being built up so much. And uh, the changing the lyrics to the same beat uh, is just, just off-putting for me, especially someone that used to listen to the original song a lot in my childhood. So... Up next, we've got Never Let Go by Dion Timmer featuring Haley Mays. Uh, I've never been the biggest Dion Timmer dubstep fan. I preferred his kind of uh, electro indie dance kind of stuff. But uh, so this one, I think, was mainly just for me. I personally felt the synths were pretty weak uh, and the kick was just, I don't know, it just felt bland. A um, little uninteresting. Vocals were okay. Just not my not my jam. Up next, we've got Pump It by Yoltron and LN. Uh, again, so many short tracks this week. Uh, this is a quick hit of hardcore uh, with no real song structure, I felt, uh, or pacing. It just kind of hit hard and fast, and I, yeah, I don't know. I, I just didn't like it. And then we've got the Pulse Camarion remix, originally by Reaper. The Disruptor remixes are out now. And it's ironic because Camarion was a standout track this week, and this time it is bad. Um, very different take from Camarion here, and it just uh, didn't didn't gel with me. Uh, I like my Camarion deep, uh, and this was just not. <laughs> uh, the melody line was tough to listen to and uh, pretty uninteresting for me personally, but... Uh, we move into the meh category songs that I think are, uh, are pretty meh. We've got uh, Bloodsucker by Essinger. Uh, personally, when Essinger's production doesn't have that uh, real punch, doesn't really go hard, uh, the vocals kind of sound like they're whining. He kind of sounds like he's whining for the most part. And I think that combined with the short runtime here in this track just was uh, was one that uh, didn't didn't sit well with me a ton, even though I didn't I didn't mind it. I thought it was uh, I thought it was just okay. But uh, that's Essinger. We've got White Sand Beach by Zan Griffin, uh, the man that does it all. This is a trip hop instrumental beat, uh, and the, as the art would suggest, it's a kind of uh, Arabian beach atmosphere, and so uh, solid. I could see some rap over top of this, uh, a pretty, pretty basic kind of beat song, I would say. Up next, we've got Reality by Jaws and Shipwreck. Uh, the Block Party EP is out now by Jaws, just I think a three-track EP. Uh, I would categorize this as techno. Uh, it's a pretty dry track, I would say, honestly, with, again, another short run time. Uh, I, just, I just don't see myself going back to this a whole ton, even though I, I kind of liked what it was doing. I just wouldn't see myself ever returning to this track. We've got uh, You've Changed Your Mind by Duskus. Uh, sounds very similar to the band uh, The 1975, if you guys are familiar with them. Uh, it packs a little bit more of a punch on the clap and kick than a 1975 track would. Uh, but uh, it's kind of got an indie sound with fairly inaudible vocals. That is kind of familiar with 1975. Um, got a bright production, though. And then, again, though, just, just a short track. So we've got Hazy by Matrata up next. Uh, simplistic Tech House. And uh, that, uh, I think that pretty much sums it up perfectly. It's simplistic and it's tech house and it's that. And then we've got Me Without You by Kalina Zanders and Party Peoples. Uh, this is Funk House with, again, pretty short, uh, pretty basic beat here, very commercial friendly uh, with clean vocals, albeit they are a bit repetitive. So that's lands here. And then we've got Cinema, the Including Fame and Fortune VIP. I don't know why it's named that, but it is. Um, originally by Odd Kid Out featuring Marley. Uh, insanely short. This is almost, I think it's two minutes and 14 seconds. Like that's crazy short, uh, but a brighter approach to the track than the original was. Um, lots of genre fusion bending in this track, even though it's short. And uh, I actually like this one over the original. So uh, that's that. Next, you've got Heart Worth Breaking by The Midnight. Uh, this is a very laid back synthwave track and uh, the best way I would describe it is it's very like sleepy kind of just driving song. Uh, so much so that I was listening to this late at night uh, doing some of the stuff and I almost fell asleep listening to this song uh, in like kind of a good way. It was like relaxing, I would say. Uh, and then we've got Bison Stomp by Dr. Ozzy featuring Ages. 
Uh, wasn't feeling the non-drop uh, kind of pseudo rap sections by ages here, and I was expecting to really not enjoy the drops. Uh, but honestly, the the first the first drop was pretty nasty. Second one wasn't as great. But uh, I personally don't love the destructive dubstep, and this is very much that. And so if you like that, I think you'll uh, actually like this one. So it's not too bad. It's higher up on the list than I would have expected it to be. And then we've got Easier by Hello World. The Clouds in My Basement EP is out now. And uh, I like the sound design and simplicity mixed in with the kind of 8-bit sounds. Uh, but it could have been a little more of something. I think it just could have had a little bit more. Uh, the whole EP maybe in general and this track in specific, it just... Again, another kind of short one. It got a fun idea and fun sounds, but it's like kind of wanted just a little bit more, I think. Then we've got Out of Control by Nikki Romero and EDX uh, for a commercial deep house track. I actually uh, kind of like this one. Uh, was still boring and short as kind of most commercial ones are nowadays. Uh, but uh, on a good day, I may, have, I may have put this one a little bit higher. So uh, not too bad for kind of a commercial deep house track. And then we've got Without You by uh, Ovi Sky, uh, another simplistic, lighthearted, this is a very smooth track, I would say. Um, again, short, a lot of these songs are short this week, I don't know what it is, but uh, yeah, smooth I think is the best way I would describe this one. Uh, and our final meh track of the week, there's a lot, uh, is Before Dawn by Slander, a huge tonal shift for Slander here. Uh, it's a dark techno track with a longer runtime, this is almost six minutes. Um, with the, uh, there's a constant static noise that's juxta juxtaposed, uh, to a kind of serene ballad in the middle, uh, reminds me of something like a fellow feeling from Porter Robinson or a boy in the beast by Pierce Fulton and puppet. Uh, so similar, not as quite two of the extremities, but, uh, there were really was no payoff in the drop. I would say both of those other tracks I mentioned by Porter and uh, puppet have a kind of payoff sound with the drop. And this didn't really have that. Uh, I did appreciate the mix up of style though, but we are moving into the good category. We've got five songs to top off the week. Uh, we've got Operator by G. Jones. Uh, break beat track with a ton of glitchiness. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with G. Jones, uh, you'll probably think it's a little bit more of an experimental track. But uh, this is another, <laughs> another quick track uh, that is uh, quite fun to listen to, I would say. And then a very similar track, just a little bit more on the electro side. We've got Satin Cash Part 2 by Wave Dash. Uh, a jittery, very electro sounding track, uh, proves they don't really need vocals to be a fun one. And, uh, this is, this is the great example of that. Uh, and then we've got XYZ, the Nero remix by Dead Mouse. a better version than the original. I would say it's, it got a mid tempo style now rather than house. Um, and, uh, it kind of clipped the unnecessary length of the original. It kind of took it from the nine and a half minutes down to like a just below six, uh, which I think was, uh, perfect. Um, nothing too crazy from Nero and not this kind of grand track that I kind of expected from them kind of on a sort of comeback track, but, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty solid song. Now we've got Angels by Whipped Cream. Uh, it's honestly one of the worst music videos I've ever seen on Monster Cat. Um, there, yeah, I could go into that in another video maybe, but one of the worst videos, but uh, I actually really like the song. So uh, the, <laughs> I'm separating the two quite a bit. Um, the song was uh, was quite solid. I really like the unique kind of sound design from it, the kind of um, mix between like a bass and kind of trap sound. Uh, the siren-like synths are both a kind of like warning and an enticement. And uh, I, uh, I really like the track. So that's that. And our top track of the week, still in good, uh, is Afterglow by Bob Moses and Casablanca. Uh, a solid deep house cut that reminds me a lot of Rufus to Soul here. Uh, solid production, great vocals. I'm a sucker for uh, Bob Moses vocals. I don't know, something about it is just so kind of calming and uh, well-produced. Um, fantastic track and uh, not too flashy. It's pretty, uh, pretty down to earth, uh, pretty clean cut track. So uh, yeah, that's been it for this week in EDM. Let me know what you think of any and all songs in the comment section below. I've been Botet Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.